Good morning, everyone. This is Jacob Paul, your other sculptor, and we're going to get into it. I've got all kinds of inspiration here. Uh, these are Alaskan river rocks that I've been sculpting on. I just made uh, this piece yesterday. It's a tree fairy house and garden sculpted on it. Alaskan River Rock, and that little guy right there is also uh, sculpted on River Rock. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. And uh, I got this moon lamp. <laughs> oh, we're going to have some fun. Got my Sculpey 3 polymer clay. Got a crystal. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Is that going to be fun or what? Tell me. Tell me. Okay. All right, we're going to do this. Now, this is just creation and process, and then I'm going to show you how I get a little bit of inspiration, and I get this concept in my head, and I just go for it. <clears throat> no sense in wasting any time. Let's just get into it. So, what I'm doing is making a little pinch Pinching this uh, Sculpey 3 to make a little mound hollowed out to go over the light. So I gotta have the light to, uh, you know, going and see if it's gonna work, if it's gonna fit in there and all that. <clears throat> Just pinching that. See how that works. That works pretty good. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I made this little mound um, and I've got a hole in the top of it. It's hollowed out to go over the light. And the crystal is going to go here. And the light is going to illuminate the crystal. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bake this for like roughly a half hour or so and continue to work uh, on uh, the creation. Okay, next I'm going to take a little mound of soapy tree and take the crystal and stick it in there. And this is just so I can work on the dragon. It's a dragon, right? I just want to be able to work on that while the other piece is cooking, baking. So, but it better just hold it there so you while I work on it. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take a new little clay and start rolling it. This is going to be for the dragon's body. And uh, <clears throat> if you just roll it gently against the table, like this, and um, where you want to be longer and skinnier, you apply a little bit more pressure. You don't want to push down really hard because it'll become flat and then it'll, it won't roll. But basically, I want a really nice long tail. This will be the tail. The thicker part will be the body. And then I'll roll this out also to make the shape of the head or the neck of the head. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to decide on the positioning of the dragon on the crystal. And this, this, this could be really nice with the uh, tail kind of going this way, like something like that. But I have to wait for the other part to be uh, <clears throat> done baking and cool, and then we can get started and decide exactly what we're going to do, but yeah, I think something like that would be quite nice. And keep in mind, you know, a really flowing, you know, not chunky, not lumpy, I mean, you want it to be, take your time, there's no time limit here. This could take hours and hours and hours, that's okay, it's okay. Take your time, make a nice piece, every piece is like your last and your best, right? While we're waiting for that uh, piece to bake and finish baking, I thought I'd show you some of my other dragon designs. There's tutorials for all of these. This is a dragon uh, uh, 
printed this or do we this? This is a dragon on a rock. Um, not really enough room here. This is a dragon jewelry dish or trinket dish. And there's a, I'll put links in the video description for all of these. This is just a freestanding dragon. Kind of a simple, well it's not simple, I mean it's a nice piece though. A uh, little statuette. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that one a lot. And, uh, I made a couple, uh, wall, <clears throat> wall pieces. This is a, uh, wall, it's a, uh, it's a wall scone, so a, uh, you know, wall decor piece. I have a tutorial for it. It's pretty cool. And, uh, it goes on the wall like that. He sculpted on a, uh, castle. Uh, uh, to it, and it holds a candle at the top, and uh, and I have this one too. Let me soak some castle to it, and I have tutorials for all these, so I'll put uh, links in the video description so you can check them out. And I've done many dragons. I mean, I do them. I do them a lot, and I'm also <coughs> frequently inspired by uh, 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 students or viewers that, you know, make things uh, after seeing my tutorials. And uh, and so I thought I'd share a couple of theirs, uh, designs. Um, here they are. Yeah, uh, you know, sending me pictures is <clears throat> really good for me um, because it's inspiring. I find it very inspiring. You know, making these tutorials is wonderful to know that people are actually making things and creating and learning and and that just sends energy straight back to me. So, yeah, I'd love to see pictures. Definitely send me pictures. You can message me by email. My email address is in the About section on my channel at Jake Folger, and <clears throat> you also can message me on Facebook, and you also can follow my art there. I have, I do all kinds of things. I'm not just a sculptor, I'm not just, a, I mean, I do a lot of different things. I'm a mixed media artist, uh, so, uh, and I post just about everything I make there on that uh, page. So, uh, yeah, so this is uh, cool, and, uh, well, not cool, it's actually so warm, but it's okay. Uh, so what I want to do now is take some clay and roll a noodle like this and put the crystal kind of position on there and then wrap this around it and kind of sculpt it into the into the mound, you know, like that. Okay, so I'm just, um, kind of trying to get, uh, the crystal to be secure there, using this, um, clay around it to kind of sculpt it in. And then, uh, I'm going to take my dragon, and wrap him around the crystal, applying gentle pressure to, you know, stop him, stop him right onto the crystal. And then I'll bring, maybe have a tail uh, come down like that, so it's, you know, the, so the, uh, crystal's not obscured too much, you know, by the dragon. And then maybe, um, 
to bring the tail up like this, perhaps. And push it gently into the base. Yeah, it looks pretty good like that. And just and then just gently without swishing it, push it push it into the base. Well, that's kind of cool, like that. Okay, so now I'm going to sculpt his face, his head. I'm going to use uh, the back end of the paintbrush to do his eye first. I'm going to make a little eye socket. Notice how I'm st uh, spinning the brush as I do that? The brush handle. It just uh, eliminates uh, such issues. side as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll look at and make sure they're positioned in the right places, you know, on both sides. Take a very small ball of clay and we want to make sure it can fit inside the eye socket. So uh, I think that might do it. So I'll press it in gently. And I'll do the same on the other side. Little ball. Just press it in gently. Like that. And then I'll take a let's see, I'll probably use this. The sharp wood tool. And put a little indentation for his pupil. Like that. Now I'll take a very small ball of clay and roll it into a needle, like that. And place it over his eye, like that. and blend it in. It looks like that. And you can take maybe a ball tool like this and blend the other side into the head.
very gentle light touch. Okay, so now I'm going to do what you see both sides of. Now I'm going to take a small paintbrush over here. Something like this. And I'm going to put an indentation for his nostril. Or her nostril. <laughs> now somebody uh, left me a comment. I can't remember his name. But he says, you don't ever do no uh, nostril flares. <laughs> I used to do nostril. I mean, I used to do these really pronounced nostril flares on my dragons. And uh, one time somebody commented and said, oh my God, why do you make the nostril flares so big? And I got all, in, uh, you know, kind of uh, <laughs> self-conscious about nostril flares and making them so big and everything, so. <laughs> I thought I would put nostril flares on this dragon for this guy. <laughs> So I'm just basically rolling really super tiny uh, noodles of clay and sculpting on muscle flares. <laughs> He's got she got a really short nose, so it's it's got I'm not sure it's gonna work. We'll see. Don't worry about the burning this, let's see if it snaps back. Okay, there it goes. That's a super, super light touch. I don't know, that kind of works, maybe. <laughs> You know, you don't have to make your dragon so small, you know. If you're having trouble with this miniature stuff. <laughs> and really, you know, you just got to be super patient with yourself if you, I mean, keep in mind I do this all the time and I've been doing it for many years, so I mean, obviously, uh, you know, my hands are going to move differently than yours. <laughs> So there you go, sir. Nostril flares. <laughs> I made mean, that, you know, I don't know. How's it look to you guys? What do you think? <laughs> they look pretty good to me. I don't, you know, I don't. I mean, I've made many mean-looking things in my lifetime. <laughs> That's for sure. But you know, I like I like the, the softer uh, look now. The kind of not so mean. 
kind of thing. I don't know, it looks, it looks kind of like a pit bull to me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make the spade for the tail. So I'm starting off with a ball, roll it into a cone shape like that. Make it really sharp on the end, like that. And then I'm going to take my fingers like this and squeeze putting a ridge along the top. Then I'm going to squeeze here. Creating another ridge. And then I'm going to squeeze here. Creating another ridge. And just uh, smooth it. You smooth it with your thumb. I recommend smoothing as you go. I mean, a lot of people will say, Oh, it's my piece is so bumpy and lumpy. Sorry about the blurriness. Um, you know, if you just take a, a little bit of time and just smooth like this, what's your thumb? It's not going to be so difficult for you, you know? There's no reason to make things all lumpy and bumpy. I mean, really, it just isn't. And, and the other thing is, I mean, I don't know how long you think this takes to make, but when the tutorial is over, uh, you know, I, and during the tutorial, I'm, I'm doing a lot of work that I'm not taping. I'm just so trying to teach you. So. What I'd like to do is uh, create a little concave area for the tail to be inserted. Something like that. But yeah, these pieces take a long time to make, really. I mean, it's just, I don't show all of it. I just show what enough so you can get it, you know. And then I'll put it on there and press it into place. And maybe have it curved down like that. But everything is nice and flowing. And you should turn your piece frequently and see if there's any flat spots and things like that, especially with a dragon, you know, you know, flat spots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Now I'm going to do some scales. I do the scales pretty much the same way all the time. I hope you don't get bored with my scales. <laughs> Build a little clay. Apply it. Press it into place. And blend it. Now, you know, I, you often see me <coughs> storing, and you don't see me storing too much today, and the reason why is because this piece is so small that the, the clay that I'm using is super soft and it just sort of melts in, you know, with these really small pieces. I mean, it just really melts into place. Um, you know, scoring on something this small is 
really not necessary, I wouldn't say. And then I like to take the tip of the of the um, tail of the uh, scale and kind of have it going inwards or it curving in. So it looks like that. And then I'll just keep working up and I'll share it as I go. Okay, I'm with the scale kind of uh, it's going up. That was a little small, too small. Now it's sort of coming up onto the top of the body. <clears throat> and now she is coming up on top. Now this, uh, just to let you know, there was absolutely no drawing, sketch, or anything here at all. I just had this idea to make a little new lamp with a crystal. I done a dragon piece like that oh, several, uh, I mean, I don't know, several years ago. It was three or four years ago. And it's a tutorial on my channel. I'll include links to all these dragon videos on there. I uh, had done that piece, um, definitely different than this, but uh, yeah. And uh, I just came up with the idea, thought about it, found, uh, found a crystal in my um, closet and said, well, why not? it would be fun. But yeah, I mean, this is, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, this is, I've never made anything like this before. I did do a baby dragon on a crystal, but it wasn't a lamp. It was just a sculpture, uh, if I can dig up the photo.
Okay, I want to make a, um, <clears throat> I do, I, I like to do these unicorn type horns on my, uh, dragons. I have a little, uh, pliers that are round and that sort of thing. And I'm going to shape the wire. To the shape I want, maybe something like that. This is uh, I think this is sixteen gauge uh, copper wire, or something like that shape, and then I'll roll a noodle of clay you know for a nice uniform uh, noodle you can uh, roll on the table just applying dental pressure So I've got a shape like this and I'm going to fold it in half and twist it Like that. Mm -hmm. Then take the wire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then sew it in the bottom of the horn. I like that. Mm. Mm. And I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is cut it off a little bit. Um, you can cut this with scissors. And then I'm going to put it right here on the head. Like that. And then I'll uh, cover it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like that. Mm -hmm. And then you can take a, uh, like a ball tool and Blend it into the head. Mm. Mm. And
And if you have any of the uh, spiral uh, design obscured, you can just use a sharp knife to um, put it in again, like that. Let's have fun. That's a little something you can do, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to start the wings, and so I'm going to start off with two balls about the same size. And then I'm going to roll them. I think I'm going to roll them between the palms of my hands, so they look like this about the same size. I'm going to take my thumb and my forefinger like that and I'm going to squeeze. Creating kind of a little rib along the top of each wing. So, kind of make it interesting, you know. And you can smooth, smooth as you go. I mean, why, why wait to the end? And then you'll be all overwhelmed and say, "Oh my God, what am I gonna do now?" Take your time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look like that. So they have to be opposite, right? I think I'm probably going to put it like, maybe right about there. So what I'll do is cut myself a bit of wire. And I'll insert the wire inside the wing. And just just do it really slow so that um and watch it, you know, from both sides to make sure it's not coming through on the uh, outside the wing. Or maybe sticking out like that. And then here, definitely, you would want to score. Do that data score. The wing. Okay, it's going to go right, right there. We can make a mark with the wire. And then score that. And then put it on. You take a ball tool and bind it in.
Let me just, you can be however you want. I mean, I just leave it out there in the wind. I mean, this could be a fragile piece, obviously, right? So what? That's all right. I'm not fragile. I mean, I'm not going to ship it anywhere, obviously. If you want it, you got to come pick it up, okay? <laughs> I decided to uh, move the wings closer to her head and tie them into the body. So, um, and they're not really attached, they're just uh, kind of laying on. So it'd be a, a good idea to uh, put some wire in there. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of wire, a little tiny, tiny bit of wire, and just push it through into the, uh, so, a little bit long, so I'm going to have to make it shorter and do it again. But yeah, that's, that's what you want to do, tie it in uh, with a piece of wire. Now I'm putting scales on the wings. Much the way, same way as we did them on the body. Oh, the sun's coming up. <laughs> I started this at, I think, maybe three or something like that. And now it's daylight. <laughs> oh, the light will be better. That's good for you guys. <laughs> So this is where I am now. Put the wings of the scales on the wings. Like that. Then I'm kind of just thinking about where I want to go from here. So I'm thinking about that. Now this is a good time to check all your lines and see if every, if you have any flat spots, if it's crinkly, you don't want it crinkly, you want it nice and smooth and flowing and relaxed. So, just take your time, sorry about the blurriness. Take your time. I think what I'm going to do now is work on the base. And the, the first objective, sorry about that. The first objective is to cover the base with soft clay. And uh, so I have something to sculpt on. So I'm going to take my time and do that. This with bits of soft clay and just build it up and make it, you know, give me something to uh, sculpt to. Okay, so I decided I didn't like the leaves. I, it was just too, too busy. Just making a simple uh, disc base. And uh, so now, yeah, I'm basically finishing up. I did toy with the ideas of putting legs on it. But I think it's just going to be too busy with that, you know, and uh, kind of hard to get a nice orientation with the legs and that sort of thing. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it with the wings and the serpent look, so to speak. Um, I'm roughing up the base. Uh, I took a ball tool and just did a really kind of rough 
uh, swirl like that, and it'll look really good with the bronzes and the uh, uh, pearlex pigments when we do the finish. Um, gonna spend a lot of time smoothing and and or just adding texture where it's really rough, uh, because you know, it, it, otherwise it might take a really long time to smooth it. So uh, you know, sometimes just uh, taking a tool and going like this. Uh, over the surface um, of the clay is a, a good way to avoid spending hours and hours trying to get it really smooth. Um, and also texture with the Pearlex pigments is a beautiful thing, really beautiful. So uh, probably that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure everything's blended right and that, you know, it's a good, uh, you know, good structural integrity so it will last a long time. And I'll spend some time on that, and then I'll come back and we'll do a finish on it. Okay, I want to show you this. This uh, this wing over here was, you know, off by itself. So what I did was I added wire to it. And the way I do that, you know, is uh, I'm going to show you so you have an idea. You take a little piece of wire and you bend it to the shape that you want it to be. And then you can put it on the back of the piece of clay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Take it uh, and push it into the clay like that. And then you just add clay to it and smooth it over. So you just take uh, a, little bit of, a little bit of clay and you add it to it and just smooth it over. It's not just though. It takes time and I really had to hold it close to my eye to see what I was doing really good, and I wouldn't be able to take that very easily. So, um, you know, it takes time. And really, if you're going to be doing something like that, you really should pre-bake uh, your dragon because when I was doing it, the whole thing fell apart, and I had to put it back together uh, because I was moving it all around and, you know, all this stuff. So... You have to be really careful when you're doing that. You should probably pre-bake it. Um, so it, it took a, it took a, a long time to fix and, and do that. But now it's it's solid. It's got that wire in there. So yeah, and we'll keep going here. So uh, when, once I get the purple on the dragon, what I like to do is uh, put get some bronze on my finger like this, and uh, and then swirl it a little bit with my thumb, and then. Uh, just kind of highlight uh, the scales and I like to do that with my finger the uh, the bronze just looks a lot better whoops the bronze looks a lot better when it's put on with a finger the other fin finishes it doesn't really matter as much but with the uh, with the uh, bronze it does matter um, and so and also uh, you know you kind of want uh, to see the little definition between the purple and the bronze on the scales, it's kind of nice to to see that um, highlighted in that, in that fashion. And uh, um, do the horn, and it's just really, really uh, gorgeous. I just love, I love Pearlux pigments on this black clay. Uh, there's nothing like it that I've seen anywhere. On the, on the stone here, um, I'm going to do it in bronze. Or the base, you know. And it's just uh, really, really, really pretty. You know, with that texture. And, you know, leaving plenty of, uh, uh, of the uh, black showing. Oh, uh, yeah. 
and then uh, I take a, I don't use this brush very often, but it's a little detail brush. And uh, I'll get a little bit of water on it, squeeze it off, get a little bit of bronze. And, uh, whoops, I don't even see it. Do the eye. There we go. Yeah, pretty nice stuff. Now, a couple things that I should tell you about Sculpey 3 is it's not something, this is not something you want to wait to bake. Bake it soon after you make it because uh, I have found that uh, pieces that are really like this where there's a lot of, you know, movement of clay and sculpting around things and, you know, details like this. Um, can develop cracks and actually fall apart if left unbaked. So I definitely would not leave it unbaked for any amount of time. I would bake it right away. The other thing is the sharpness of the finish um, is it, it, it tends to melt in uh, into the into the clay, the uh, pearlex pigments. If you leave it sit, um, and the crispness and that contrast and that sharp contrast between like here and the purple stuff like that will be lost so i don't recommend uh waiting to bake it as far as baking instructions go i'll put a link in uh not a link but a uh, description of how to bake it uh in the video description along with the tool and supply list the source list for all the different materials will be in the places where you can go to buy things and, um, yeah, so that'll be all in there. And a playlist of all my Dragon videos will be in there as well. Uh, link to the playlist. And, uh, yeah. I made a kind of a grave error. The crystal that I sculpted the dragon on doesn't really let the light go through it. I kind of picked up the wrong crystal for some reason. This is the one that lets the light go through. So, what I'm doing now is correcting my mistake carefully. I'm using a knife to carve out a space for this crystal to go. And then I'll put clay in around it and sculpt it and texture it and finish it. And then I will have a Illuminated crystal dragon boot lamp. <laughs> but I wanted to share that with you. Uh, I think uh, I think one reason why that's happening is because this crystal that the dragon is on is flat on the bottom. And this one has an angle on it. So when you're choosing your crystals, be careful to get one that definitely... And even get your mood, mood bulb first and uh, hold it to it, to the crystal while you're in the store and see if it illuminates. So you don't have that same problem. It's very frustrating, you know. <laughs> I'll be back in a few. Okay, so <laughs> I've got the shades pulled and the lights off and I'm not sure how this video will record with this. Um, I guess it'll be all right. Anyways, this is it. Um, I, I actually am happy that that worked out because it, it's, uh, I think, more appealing with the um, crystal kind of going off like that. And I kind of like it. So that was a fun sculpt, and I hope you got plenty out of it, and I hope that you will make a dragon of your own uh, on a crystal and move lamp. And uh, if you do, please send me a picture. I'd uh, love to see what people are doing with my tutorials. It, 
And it inspires me and drives me forward to keep uh, bringing quality tutorial content to you guys. Um, you can <clears throat> email me and uh, my email address is in the about section on my channel page at Jake Bolger. And you can message me on Facebook. My Facebook page URL is in the video description down below the video. And uh, let's see, uh, if you could please give the video a like, share it with your friends and family, leave me a comment or question and I will reply, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Hit the bell icon so you can get a notification when I upload. <clears throat> Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.